Hello, my name is Gabriel Nav with the Call Schizophrenia. Today's video is about an experience I had um, during my psychosis. It was a really deep experience, and I guess it could be compared to a spiritual awakening. So before my, my last psychosis, this was in 2019, I was living at my grandpa's. And as I was falling asleep, I had this vision about me being inside of my mom's stomach when she was pregnant with me. And it seemed like a memory that I wasn't supposed to remember. And in the vision, I had x-ray vision. And I could see the room my mom was in. And I could see two blue spirit figures, one on each side. And I still don't know if this is like a delusion or if it was like a spiritual awakening. But I thought I would share it because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there with schizophrenia who have had visions of, or memories of things they can't explain. So when I went into psychosis, I really thought about this and I started thinking I was the Archangel Gabriel because my name's Gabriel, and I thought that those two blue spirit figures were transporting me to Earth. And it's really, uh, like I said, I don't know if it's a delusion or if it's a spiritual awakening. It's been three years since I had it's been four years, actually. It's 2023. I had the vision in 2019, so it's been four years. But I didn't really put the pieces together till July of 2020 when I went into psychosis. So I finally put the pieces together like three, over three years ago, three and a half years ago. And I still don't understand it. And I'm sharing this video because I know there's people out there I don't know if I already said this, but there's people out there that who have schizophrenia that may have had visions that can't explain. And like I said, this could be compared to like a spiritual awakening. Um, when I had this, this delusion or vision or whatever you want to call it, I was breaking down in tears and I heard this song on YouTube, I was listening to this song and I felt like the song was like translating my soul. And what I mean by that, I felt like the lyrics were like, and the instruments were like the melody to my soul. It's really hard to explain. It's like it was speaking me. Um, I don't think I really shared this, but when I was in psychosis, I thought that I wrote a song for somebody. Um, I thought I wrote a song for a famous person before I was born. I thought I uh, channeled lyrics through that famous person while I was a spirit before I was alive. I thought I channeled the lyrics to him and he wrote it thinking there were his lyrics and it's like all these things in my psychosis like all these clues from visions I had in the past and songs I listened to for years it's like in 2020 they all like hit me all at once and they all made sense it was like puzzle pieces going together and I probably sound crazy making this video, but um, it's about time that I share um, a bit more detail about my psychosis because, like I said, there's people out there that have psychosis, have schizophrenia, and have been through psychosis who have experienced weird things that feel like puzzle pieces going together. And I compare uh, psychosis to, like, um, 
to like a psychedelic trip. It's like everything makes sense. And when you try to explain it to other people, you sound crazy. So yeah, that's just one of the things, one of the uh, delusions or whatever you want to call it, things I went through in psychosis. I thought I was the Archangel Gabriel and I thought I channeled music to different musicians from the spiritual realm. I, I thought I made like soul contracts with these musicians from the spiritual realm and then they incarnated and I, I, uh, I sent my music through them because maybe I wasn't allowed on earth or something. That was like the delusion I had and it felt like I wrote this song um, that I heard in psychosis, it felt like, it almost felt like they were my lyrics. But looking back, I know that a lot of it was delusion. And that's one of the reasons why I was afraid to come back on clozapine was because I was afraid of losing my, my spiritual beliefs. I was afraid I wouldn't believe in it anymore. And here I am not believing it. So, but that's okay. Um, I'm grateful that I'm on clozapine because it's really helped me. It's helped me. I can actually leave the house now. I can be productive. I can help people. I can do stuff I wasn't able to do when I was in psychosis. I couldn't even go to the bathroom because I was afraid if my heart started racing that I would, you know, or I couldn't leave the house. I couldn't even walk to the mailbox, really, because if my heart started racing um, and my arms and legs went numb, I wouldn't be able to make it back inside. That was the fear. Yeah, my psychosis was really, really bad. But that's why I'm grateful to be in a place where I'm barely hallucinating. I probably hallucinate twice um, a week, maybe a few times a month for little short periods of time. But yeah, time's going by fast. Um, it's almost Christmas. Well, um, at the time of making this video, you'll probably see it after Christmas. Um, New Year's is coming, which is pretty cool. It's going to be 2024, which is crazy. I turned 25 in January. But yeah, I just can't believe it's already almost been four years since New Year's 2020. That's... uh freaks me out a little bit <laughs> like but yeah that's about it for this video hope you enjoyed hit that subscribe button for more and have good holidays my name is Gabriel and I have what the call schizophrenia I'll see you soon